welcome back everybody for another edition of the Late Night Review. And tonight I'm going to review one of my very favorite Chuck Norris movies of all time. It might even be my favorite, Forced Vengeance. Now I grew up watching this movie. I always enjoyed it. The fight scenes I've always enjoyed. And it's, you know, it, the fight scenes are not very realistic, but they're more realistic than a lot of other martial arts or kung fu movies. And uh, this movie, I think, is, to me, my favorite Chuck Norris movie. Uh, you know, I think an eye for an eye. In fact, I just finished working out, so I'm doing this, this video kind of suddenly. And Chuck Norris, by the way, is uh, a person who inspired me ever since I was a kid to work out and to practice uh, boxing and martial arts, especially the martial arts. But I come from a boxing, primarily boxing and wrestling family. But that's another subject. I might save that for, uh, you've seen me talk about that on my exercise videos. But anyway, tonight I'm talking about this movie, Forced Vengeance. And as a kid, I would, every time we went to the video store, uh, I would rent this or a few of my other favorites. Uh, and they rented it for me, of course. I was a little kid. And then when it came on one of the pay channels, I'm not sure if it was on HBO or Cinemax, I would watch it all the time. And it, I got a lot of nostalgia for it. But I don't like it just for nostalgia. I like it because it's really well done for an action martial arts movie. It's directed by James Fargo. He uh, was assistant director to uh, um, Steven Seal, uh, Spielberg when they did Duel. And he was also assistant director on a few Clint Eastwood movies. And then finally he had a chance to direct a Clint Eastwood movie, The Enforcer one of the Dirty Harry movies in that franchise. That's a great franchise. I really love that franchise. He directed The Enforcer and he directed one of my sentimental favorite movies, Every Which Way But Loose. I really like that with Clint Eastwood where he plays a uh, kind of an underground fighter, but there's a lot of comedy in it and there's um, sad parts or it's a drama and his partner with him, the, uh, you know, his, his friend, uh, the orangutan, the ape, is with him. And then Clint Eastwood is, you know, fighting kind of underground. And there's some comedy. And then Sandra Locke is in there. And uh, he falls in love with her. And that's another movie for another time. But James Fargo is a good director. And he directed this movie. The fight scenes are enjoyable. This is not, this is not anywhere near uh, as funny as every which way but lose. In fact, there's a few funny scenes in here, but most of it is just straight up action. It's a rather serious movie. And it's a movie where uh, Chuck Norris's character seeks justice for his uh, loved ones who were killed. I don't want to give too much away because this movie, even though I think it's so good, I rarely hear it talked about. And uh, I think it's the best one of Chuck Norris. I, I think his movies are movies that I grew up with and I really love. And I actually think this movie is my personal favorite, but eye for an eye comes close. And then a force of one and a couple others, breaker breaker and the octagon. I love those. Maybe I'll do a video in the future about one of those films, but in this movie, uh, he seeks vengeance against a, um, organized crime syndicate who murdered his loved ones. And um, there's an assassin in here. There's a, a, a guy in here, a big guy, and he's played by a professional wrestler and martial artist, uh, Seiji Sakaguchi. They had him play this assassin in here, and he fights with Chuck Norris at the end, and it's really a good final fight. My only complaint was is I wish it would have lasted just a little bit longer, but it's a good one. And uh, also, I wish they would have given him a little more screen. I mean, he does have screen time. But I wish he would have been given a little more screen uh, time. He's such a fascinating person, Seijay Sakaguchi. He was a professional wrestler at the time that they cast him for this. And a martial artist. So he fits the part well in here. So if you like Chuck Norris movies, if you like action movies, you're going to really uh, like this. And uh, to repeat, I just finished exercise. I hope I'm not s sweating on camera. But um, yeah. Uh, Chuck Norris uh, influenced me to exercise since I was a kid, too, along with Bruce Lee and uh, Van Damme and uh, Arnold and Stallone and all those guys. And this movie was right in there. This was one of my favorites that I would watch all the time. And I highly recommend it. 
Um, if you're not into this kind of thing, if you're not into Chuck Norris or martial arts movies, and you, you may or may not like it, but still it's exceptional among martial arts movies and action movies. I think it's one of the best. Uh, it's a fast pace. It's not, it doesn't really drag on in, in uh, any, any length of time. It doesn't really drag on. It's pretty fast pace. And um, also, I would say everyone does a pretty good acting job. In a, in a lot of martial arts and kung fu uh, movies, you know, a big complaint is the acting. But in here, I think the acting is pretty good and it has a good story. It's not just a throwaway story so you can see fighting. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good story. He has a purpose. He's going out to seek justice. And it's set in China, in Hong Kong. There's been a lot of great martial arts movies that have been set in China. Uh, Hong Kong, China, uh, Enter the Dragon, Bloodsport had that as their area. And in here, Chuck Norris works in a casino. It's, I think it's called the Lucky Dragon Casino. And the crime syndicate wants to take it over from Chuck Norris's friends. They're like family to him. They're friends, but they're like family. They're so close. And they want them to sell out, but Chuck Norris's uh, friends slash family won't sell out. So it makes him very angry. So they, they kill them and Chuck Norris goes out to seek uh, justice, vengeance, a lot of fighting, plenty of action. And this is one of the earlier Chuck Norris movies. And I like all his movies, but mostly I'm a fan of his early stuff the most. Like this one, Eye for an Eye, Force of One with Bill Superfoot Wallace. That was, that was another good one. Maybe I'll do a review of An Eye for an Eye or a Force of One one day. We'll see because I enjoy those a lot. But this one is probably my favorite. And um, there's some actors in here and actresses that you've probably seen in other films, like character actors and actresses that you'll probably recognize when you watch this. I know one of the guys, I think I saw him in the Twilight Zone. And then there's another guy called, uh, his name is Ramondi in this movie. And he was in a couple, Ch uh, a couple Clint Eastwood movies, I believe. Um, and um, you'd probably seen him around. He has a staff in here, and he he knows martial arts in here too. And he has a staff, and he fights Chuck Norris with this staff on a boat, and that's a pretty good scene too. And uh, watch out for that final fight at the end when he fights that big guy uh, on an island. And uh, I always wish they would make a a serious, really cool movie. A really serious movie about Double Dragon, you know, the Double Dragons. I know they did make one, and it was, you know, I watched it. I wish it would have been more serious, and I think that, like in No Retreat, No Surrender, <laughs> the acting was poor, I know, but I love those movies. I think part one and two are my favorite. Part three, it was Blood Brothers. I think if they would have made it like Double Dragon and they were together more often... That would have been even better, too, but I, I really like those movies. Acting was poor. Maybe the director meant it on purpose, like a spoof. I thought I heard that, but those are movies maybe for another... Maybe I'll do a video on those one day. I don't know, but this Chuck Norris movie... Sorry to ramble on, but uh, this Chuck Norris movie is really worth watching. If you like Chuck Norris or martial arts, I think you'll love this movie, or at least like it. I don't want to build you up too much and then you know, build up your expectations too much. You know, just kind of go in and and try to keep your expectations low, even though I'm making it hard to do that because I keep talking highly about it. But that's because it's one of my favorite movies. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. It's, it's, it's exceptional for an action movie, martial arts movie, I would say. Chuck Norris is uh, pretty close to the height of his career. And here I think the missing in action movies and Lone Wolf McQuaid made him even more popular than he was here, but this is right before, uh, I think it's right before those movies, if memory serves me right. It's a good one. It's my favorite Chuck Norris movie most of the time. I hope you enjoy it. Watch it. This has been the Late Night Review, and until next time, like and subscribe and share this video, and have a good night, everybody.